superhero. In the previous video, I've shown you how to set up a modded Minecraft server, and most of the comments were questioning, how will I be able to play with my friends? So here I am with a new video to show you how to port forward your server. Let's say that we were going to create a new server. I've already downloaded my Minecraft 1.8 jar file, so I'll put it straight into my server folder, and then we are going to create the run.bat file. Please note, this procedure is clearly optional. So what you do need to do is open Notepad and paste the following code. The code is in the description as well. This code makes the server run faster because more RAM is allocated to the server functions. Change the value here to your Minecraft server name. So for me, it will be 1.8 server. Press save and save it into the server folder, naming it run.bat so it can be an executable file. Now let's go and run the file. You'll see that the EULA file came up. Open it and change the value from false to true. Now run the run.bat file once more, and if everything goes well, you should see the word done. Excellent. So, you have set up your regular Minecraft server, but the only players that can join it are the players that have joined your local internet. So, what we need to do is to start the port forwarding procedure. Open the start menu and type CMD. Next, right click the first option and select run as administrator. A black window should pop up, and then you should type the word ipconfig. You'll see a lot of stuff getting typed out there, but we are looking for the ipv4 address. So go to your Minecraft server and right click the file called server properties and select open and then select notepad. Then you should scroll down until you find something called IP address. In this field, you have to copy the same exact numbers and dots as shown as in the CMD window below. So after you have typed them correctly, press save and exit. Now the following is the most difficult part. You need to open your browser and type in the euro bar the following numbers. 192.168.1.1 Now this will lead you to your router's administration page. There will probably be required your username and your password to access this page. Now this place you can usually find the data in under your router or in your router's manual. So once you log in, you will notice that the interface can be completely different from yours. But don't worry, in most routers, the labeling is almost the same. And even if you can't find the same options as mine, I will provide you a link down in the description where you could find where the port forward settings are in most of the routers. If you can't find your router in the list still, just search your model in Google. So type your router model name and then port forwarding and then search around a bit. So getting things in order for my router, I click in the internet tab and then I select security and then I select port forwarding. So here I create, click create new item. I will call this Minecraft. Select the protocol at TCP and UPD and go down to the LAN host IP address. There you will find your previous IPv4 address as you found in the CMD. Under this type 25565 in all the port range options and select apply. In most cases, port forwarding will be completed, but in some cases, you will need to make a new exception to your Windows firewall so it will allow you to accept external connections for the port we made. So open Start menu and type Firewall, and then click the first option and then this window will pop up. Click at the Inbound Rules, and after that, in your right hand, you have to click a button called New Rule. A new window will pop up. There you will select Select Port, and then Next. Then select TCP and type in the specific local ports, space 25565. Hit next. Select allow connection and hit next. Tick all of the boxes and hit next once more. I'm going to name it Minecraft server and click finish. This procedure should be done one more time, but in the outbound rules tab. So go and click outbound rules, new rule, port, TCP, 25565, allow the connection, tick all of the boxes, and add the name and we are set. Now the last part it is very important for your network safety. In order for your friends to connect to your server, you must provide them with your public IP, but be very careful. Do not give your public IP to anyone that you don't know very well or trust. There is a small possibility if your public IP gets leaked 
for hackers, they could break into your own router settings. It's very bad. So in order to find your public IP, go to whatismyip.com. And this link, we also have in the description. There, you will see something called what is your IPv4 address and some numbers. These numbers are your public IP. In order to connect to your server, open Minecraft to the correct Minecraft version, go to multiplayer, select direct connect. Now type in your public IP and colon 25565. Now if everything worked well, you will be able to connect, join your server and your friends will be able to do the same too. Now that was the video guys. Make sure you leave a like, press subscribe, and don't forget to turn on notifications for more juicy content in the future. Just signing off now. Call me Jason, and see you next time.